Shalom, shalom. This is Kapalya, a.k.a. Pops, out of gym at Chicago with another sit-down. Before I get started, though, like always, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Akakodash. To the apostles and elders of GMS at New York, I want to send double honors because they do real well. For the brethren around the world pushing this truth, I'm cut unfair to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly of the scriptures. Correctly breaking down the prophecies and interaction with people and planet, declaring warning, I send salutations. For the hopeful elect, I hope this is edifying. For the aqua, the few and the true that's listening to say it in charity, keep doing so. But for the scorn and scoff for reprobate two third Israelites and seventeen other nations that are in the midst of Jacob's trouble, that's gonna get a whole lot worse. It's gonna get a whole lot worse. So with that, we'll go here. Uh, as you can see, black man reacts to white friends traffic stop experience. Okay, and I was supposed to get to this a little while back, about a week or so ago when it showed up. But you know, all these other different uh, 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 sit downs and whatnot popped up. But I put it in my, my thing and came back to it. So the spirit had me come back to it and get it now, anyway. It's only about five minutes and 34 seconds long. And let me put this disclaimer on it. None of this that I'm doing is of any monetary uh, 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 advancement on my behalf. Uh, whatever um, materials that I use is for educational and commentary purposes and nothing more. So with that having been said, before I run this clip, I want to pull out this scripture. Because I think once I pull out this scripture, then you're going to see what he doesn't understand. So let's go to uh, Deuteronomy. Go to Deuteronomy. That's the scripture there that I probably would wind up using in the end. But we go go to Deuteronomy uh, 28, verse 19. Deuteronomy 28, 19. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. Coming in and out of your neighborhoods. In and, in, in and out from work and these types of things. It just depends on where you're at. Okay? Like I'll give you a perfect example. Like I said some years ago before I was even in the truth. You know, I lived in a neighborhood where basically a black man was out of place driving around in the neighborhood. Even though there was businesses out there and you had to go, you had to kind of move around in these neighborhoods. You know, it wasn't like I was on some back street or residential whatever. You know, you had business avenues with major uh, uh, arteries of uh, the Chicagoland and surrounding suburban area that you had to use to be able to move around in some of the industrial areas in the process but the neighborhood basically was that of you know um considered to be uh what what's the word we want to call it uh caucasian uh of the caucasian persuasion okay to be called after night is a whole different story but even during the day you know the profiling was hot and heavy. So anyway, this scripture holds true. I didn't understand it then. I mean, I didn't know I was cursed, but I knew that I always seemed to be messed with when it came to uh, uh, Edomite uh, uh, slave trackers. 
I'm going to call them that. Either my slave trackers because that's basically what they are. Them, them shields and whatnot go back to either my slave trappers, trackers. So, curse shelled out, but I didn't know I was cursed. But now I know. And so now that makes a whole, all that stuff make a whole lot of sense because the demons that was hooked to them were just making sure that this curse was being uh, fulfilled and still to it still is to this day. Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. So, whether you coming in and out of your neighborhood, in and out of neighborhoods of your or your business uh, uh, of where you work, or whatever the case it might be, cursed. Look that sideways, this, that, and the other. But the curses are falling because I starting to transfer pursuant to. Uh, let me go over here. Pursuant to Deuteronomy 30 and 7, and Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies because I'm seeing a whole lot of Edomites and a whole lot of nice cars being pulled over, ticketed, and the whole deal. Okay. There was a point in time that I wouldn't have saw what I call a slope nose BMW. And when I say slope nose BMW, I'm talking about the sport editions of these, whether it was the 635 or whatever it might have been, whatever, uh, whatever was the two door, 12 cylinder, uh, a, a, a big V8 slope nose version of the BMW, pick a year, any year, whatever it might have been, you very seldom if ever saw a police officer have one of these pulled over. Why? Because the person normally that's driving it has a lot of money. He is an Edomite and they they don't want that smoke. They have no they have no problem now pulling them over as well. So these curses are starting to pass. And yeah, how will thy power back to thirty and seven? And yeah, how will thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies on them that hate thee, which per persecuted thee. Okay, and you can say, well, I was a, I, I, I was a, a, a stock trader. I didn't persecute you, now, nah, but your, your, uh, white privilege did just that, because them, them officers was told not to mess with you all and to get at us, to the point that. The neighborhood Burr Ridge and Chicago suburb, western suburb, the owner, Edomite, I think he was driving a 600 uh, AMG Benz at the time, basically said that every person that he ever hired of color was harassed by the Burr Ridge Police Department. So it is what it is. But like I said, I, I digress. Let me get back to this. Okay, so these curses are passing. And this, that, and other. So we get back to 28 and 19. And it says again that curse shall thou be when thou comest in, and curse shall thou be when thou goest out. Okay. So now I'll play that clip, and you can understand, and, and you get a chance to see what he doesn't understand, which I didn't understand, but I, but it, it, it I, it happened to me a lot. So now I understand it. So let me go back over here now. Oh, sorry about that. Let me see if I can get this to come through. Let me get back to this. Okay. Well, now I'll let this play. Hold on. Hold on. Um, let me disconnect. Bluetooth disconnected. So that y'all can hear it off of here. My heart's dropping. This specific time I didn't see the cop when I passed passed her, but she pulled up behind me and pulled me over. And right away when she got out of the car, she took her gun out. You do kind of head into a fight or flight mode. Really, it's about how do you survive this. When she walked up, I said, threw my hands out. I said, hey. At this point, I've seen too many of young black men, women die through the cops' hands. So I'm thinking, like, this can go any way at this moment. 
Are you Darius? Okay. Do you not got the warrant? I have warrant? Yeah, you do. Why don't you unbuckle your seatbelt and step on out for me? And they said, we're arresting you for a felony. So I get out of the car. They detained me. Um, and it took some time for them to realize that they had the wrong Darius. Shoot. This might be the wrong guy. This picture pulls up, and this dude's a lot darker than me. He has a tattoo on his neck. Yeah, he looks literally like, not you. Like what? How do you? What? He doesn't look anything like me. You are free to go. I am sorry. Now, the difference between this now and let's say the late eighties or the early nineties is the fact that they would have took you in, especially in a suburban sub suburban uh, jail, the suburbs. They would have took you in and let you sit for a couple of days and, and, or 72 hours. The, the, the holding time at that point in time was 72 hours. And for every day that you was there, they got paid X amount of money. I can't remember exactly what the number was. But yeah, he got paid X amount of money. So you said three days, they might get fifteen hundred dollars. It might be five hundred dollars a day that they would get. The the city or uh, the county would pay the 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 jail five hundred dollars a day to house you. So that was fifteen hundred dollars just to have you sit for three days. So cut you loose here. Now, oh, and pull a picture up. <laughs> right. Okay. They, 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 they have an ID and say that it, they, we didn't know if the ID was real or not, even though you matched the picture. So we have to run your prints. And it could take 72 hours for your prints to come back. Let me let this play, though. today. Yeah. George Floyd came in my head. I ain't gonna lie. He came in my head. Man, anything can happen to us, man. Especially as black bodies, man. Black people, black. Black, black, black. Here we go with this black, black, black shit. So let's go over here and get another scripture. Because now, now he wants to, he wants to vent. He wants to vent, which the venting part would be okay. If he vented correctly. But now he's just showing that he's a 230. And he doesn't understand anything that he's in the midst of. And by default. This is what I'm saying. So either, you, either you're part of the elect. And you're working toward salvation. Even though you can't work toward it. It's a gift that's going to be granted. But you're going to be understanding. The, the, you're going to be understanding what's going on see the elect is going to be understanding what's going on having the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in, in a repertoire with understanding you know some parts of these scriptures okay and I say some parts because do I understand what Apostle Tahar or Apostle Kabar or Apostle Ramlab understand to, to, to that degree no, but I understand, like I said, that cursing and things of this nature that have, that have been done to the Israelite because of their disobedience, the names that you have to have, the, 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 um, the law, statutes and commandments that you're supposed to be trying to adhere to, to the best of your ability. Okay. Those things. So, okay. Because as, as. The Apostle Taha likes to say all the time, there's levels to this, okay? There's levels to this and there's ranking systems in the midst of this, okay? Who do you think is going to be the, the head here on earth? It's going to be Yahweh Shai. Who's going to be his second in, second in command? That's going to be King David. 
okay, the 12, the 144,000, okay? And who's going to be over all of that? Anyway, Yahweh himself. Everything is given to Yahweh Shai, but Yahweh is still excluded from the dominion that's given to Yahweh Shai because he gave it to him. Okay? So now, let's go to get this scripture though. Because this guy doesn't understand what's going on to him. So let's go here and go 28. Anything could have happened. Let's see. See, this is all in the curse. And we just slide past 15 and let's go down and see what else. What else is some of the curses? Uh, I'm going to read some of this. So this is Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. I'm going to start at the 43rd verse. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. Okay. So, first of all, you that this man is was going to be put in a position of economic dominance. Period. Which occurred, and every time we try to have something of our own that that could function outside of them, the spirit was put on them to come in and destroy it. Period. Rosewood, Black Wall Street, okay, just to name a couple, okay? He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Even though the, the everything was made for the Israelites' sake, so that would make, if everything was made for your sake, that would make you the head and who's ever the least on the totem pole would be the tail. But the basis of men has been given dominion over us. 45, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee. Thou shalt be destroyed because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahweh, thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon the sea forever. So when people try to say, well, you know, people went into slavery and did this and did that. Uh, there's a list of curses that's going to be who have had all these curses occur to them. You want to say, OK, well, people were put on ships. Yeah, was they taken to a foreign land? They was put in chains. Was they taken to a foreign land? They was just that. Was their heritage taken away from them? See what I'm saying? The Amalekite knows that he was the Amalekite. The, the Moabite, the Chinese, the Ammonite, the Japanese, Hamite. Okay, as a matter of fact, I hear I heard a motherfucker today in the uh, gas station calling Ishmael Ock. Ock. <laughs> I don't even bother to correct that. I used to eight years ago, nine years ago, I probably would have corrected that, and, and and broke that down right there in the store, and had them tell them, "You all come from Ishmael." Because I've done that before. You all come from Ishmael. So if y'all come from Ishmael and we're, and we're related, but the covenant wasn't given to you, who would, who would that make us? And they'll tell you. When they be honest, they'll tell you. Y'all come from Isaac. Matter of fact, we had a guy say that downtown, an uh, uh, Ishmaelite Arab say just that. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep his commandments and the statue which he command thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Because thou servest not Yahweh thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. 
We own no factories. We do not spin. We do not spin fabrics. Okay, and we seldom have anyone that makes clothes themselves. Our people too caught up in trying to do name brand, spending eight hundred dollars for a fucking belt buckle. Willing to spend three four hundred dollars for gym shoes. Okay. In one of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. 49. And Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle flyeth. We know what America's uh, 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 mascot is. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. And since we didn't speak English and it was beaten out of us, they discontinued our heritage by taking our taking us out of our land and keeping us from being able to speak in our native language. So we had no clue, even if we got hold of a, a, a old Hebrew scroll or Bible, how to even read it and know what those words absolutely meant. A fit. 50. A nation of fierce continents which shall not regard the person of the old nor show favor to the young. Period. Period. Our people are destroyed because they don't know who they are. Okay? But the, but the people that got us in this bind that the Lord put above us, they know who we are. They know who we are. Let me go back here. Like men. There are different ways that I am seen and that you are seen in a vehicle in Minnesota, in the United States. Have you um, ever been pulled over by the police and what was that experience like for you? Okay, I have been pulled over by the police. I was um, driving home from work really late at night. She was like, driver's license. I like turned into the back seat and I was like, this is gonna be a minute and grabbed my backpack and tore through everything and then she was like insurance this is going to be a minute white privilege so you say i never i'm a stockbroker i never did anything to you all or that look at how she's able to talk to them or talk to her pay attention and i was starting to get really overwhelmed and i was tearing up and she was like, I'll give you, I'll give you a couple minutes. And she walked back to the car, like letting me just sit in my car. I reflected immediately after it happened for an officer to feel comfortable with my presence, to leave me in my vehicle, to let me have my breakdown, <laughs> getting away with a, a warning, Every single step of the way of all of those interactions within that 15 minutes, that should have been offered to a lot more people. It offends me, you know, I think the way that that makes me feel is, I'm happy for you and your safety, right? But I, I just feel like in this world, this, at this time, it's just, it just doesn't make any sense to me, you know? It don't make any sense because he's not part of the elect. And the scriptures and what he's absolutely going through, the the affliction that would that would be the trial by fire that the elect would be going through and and, and, and getting rid of the bullshit that's in their life in the process that doesn't line up with the scriptures goes totally against what he just said. He doesn't understand it. So he doesn't understand the curses that he's under. He doesn't understand that that this Edomite has been put up above him. 
that the slave trapper, had, the, the slave trapper, slave tracker, pulled him over off a of GP. Okay. That even if that like like the the the, the female that that uh reached for her supposedly went for a taser but pulled a pistol and shot the guy and and, and, and what what happened happened. Um, and I think she's going to get charged with manslaughter or whatever the case might be. Um, she may not have did it intentionally, per the conversation I had with the with the uh. uh don't worry, be happy, fool of a cop. That's a that's a two third Israelite, as dumb as a box of rocks when it comes to this truth, like this guy is. So, they 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 both basically a a, a missile food, you know, because of the fact that you know they're not part of the elect. They have no working knowledge of what's going on. Okay. So he don't understand. He don't understand. But let's pull a scripture that, that lets you see that even if this Edomite isn't conscious, the demon knows exactly what's going on. Uh, let's go to Psalms. One thirty seven and seven. Psalms one thirty seven and seven. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Raise it. Sixty one, sixty eight. Awa. To be bare, be new, uncover, leave destitute, discover, empty, raise, pour out, to bear, lay bare, to lay bare by emptying, emptying, to pour out, to make naked, strip bare, uh, to pour out, to pour out, be exposed, to expose oneself, make oneself naked, pouring out, spreading oneself, okay? Strong's definition, a primitive root to be caustically make bare. Hence, to empty, pour out, demolish, leave destitute. So the demons know. This is how we're supposed to look at the inhabitants of Jerusalem, which would have been the Israelites, not the Edomites. And he says, leave them destitute. Leave them uh 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 um uh, uh leave them destitute, empty, pour out, demolish them. So he doesn't recognize this. He has he doesn't have the working knowledge of this. So that's how come he can sit here and say something of this nature. Or as a matter of fact, let me get another scripture. Salakia. Let me get another scripture. You say he doesn't understand it? Since he doesn't understand it, this is what happens. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. This guy doesn't have a clue. He's lost. He's turned out. He doesn't have any working knowledge as to why he was treat, being treated that way. Let's go to another one. Proverbs. 19. 19, 2 and 3. Also the soul, also that the soul be without knowledge. It is not good. And he that 
Hasteth with his feet sinneth. This guy is moving around in, in, in behind enemy territory and, and 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 not and not acknowledging your how about you how was is sinning. Cause he's not acknowledging his power. So his power his power is gonna leave him subject to all the things that's going on that that's evil to him. Three. Uh yeah. The foolish of man perverteth his way and his heart fretteth against Yahweh. So Lord, why the hell are you letting this happen to me? What the fuck? What the fuck, God? Why are you letting this happen? Why is this happening to me? What the hell did I do? As opposed to understanding sin, the will, this is the will of your power. Let me, let me pray and ask the Lord to show, reveal to me what it is I'm doing wrong so I can try to correct it. Ta-da. Simple as that. The simplicity of the scriptures, per se. Let's go back here. Oh, uh, how comfortable some people feel with, you know, driving and, and being pulled over and how I kind of always have to, when I get pulled over, it's not about me being worried about getting a ticket or whatever. It's me worried about my life. Uh, make sure you're checking in. Worried about his life. Let me go and pull this scripture here. Worried about his life. That's what he said, right? Let me see if I can. Let me pull this. I think it might be time for me to pull this one right, right now. See, we just go back to the curses. See, inside the first five books of the Bible is laid out what is happening the curses that you would be under so see so what does that tell you he has no understanding even of the first five books of the bible he has no understanding of the first five books of the bible if nothing else huh deuteronomy 28 and 65 and among these nations shalt thou find no ease neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but your house shall give thee there a trembling of heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. And thy life, 66, and thy life, 66, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. And thou shalt fear day and night and shall have none assurance of thy life. What did this man just say? He feared for his life. There it is right there in the scripture. So he has no clue. In the first five books of the Bible. It breaks down. The fifth book of the Bible. It breaks down what he's feeling. And he has no clue. So is he going to be able to call on. Jesus. In that day. And have a safe hiding place. Nah. Because he ain't even got the right name first of all. And he doesn't understand exactly what's going on with him. Or to him. 67. In the morning thou shalt say. Will God it were even. And at even thou shalt say. Will God it were morning. So it don't matter what time of the day or night that you get pulled over you or, or you just coming in and out of your neighborhood that your life won't be at at risk. For the fear of thy heart, wherewith thou shalt fear and for the sight of thy eyes, which thou shalt see. You know, this stuff is going on. In the hood, we know this stuff is going on. You're weary. You're always looking around. You 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 never hey. You're on public transportation. You always gotta be up and alert. 
Some motherfuckers be trying to ride the train and be wanting to go to sleep on this, that, and the other, and blah, 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 blah. And, I, and I'm not going to sit here and say that I was never that. Okay? But I always tried to find that single seat that was isolated, that was that the door was there, and this, that, and the other, and the whole deal. Okay? Because we had pickpockets that brought razor blades and would cut your pocket, bump you if they could sit next to you, bump a couple times if you was awake, or if you were asleep enough that they could cut your pocket and pull your wallet right out the bottom of your pocket. You never felt it come out the top. It came out the bottom. They push it loose a little bit and get it to drop out your damn pocket. So, let's go back because he doesn't understand none of this stuff. And that's what he just said. He don't understand. And your loved ones, man, check on your friends that, um, shit that are black. Black. That are going, uh, yeah, see, check, yeah, check on your friends that are black. Without light, that don't have this knowledge. Yeah, you two thirds, y'all check on each other. Y'all check on each other. Because y'all black. Y'all have no light. These scriptures is the light. But you all, y'all check on each other. Not that it's going to do anything because even if y'all get it all the way through to the end, guess what? The Lord said that he's coming and he's going to destroy two thirds of his own people here anyway. So you check and make sure y'all all get through to the end and whatnot. <clears throat> like y'all got the choice. If the Lord's got you slated for destruction, you're going to have that destruction and whatever it might be. And if you're slated to stand in that fire of judgment, that lake of fire, or the Lord can bring your spirit back and put you on earth as the missiles are coming inbound. So you can stand in that fire and deal. You know, getting around that. Don't believe me, go to Matthew, I think the 27th chapter. Is that what it is? When when he brought back saints and had them walk the earth after Yahweh Shai died. Okay, so. Traveling in these suburban uh, communities because it could have ended a whole different route. Oh, he says suburban I communities, right? He says suburban communities. Let me bag that up just a little bit. Shit that are black and that are going and are traveling in these suburban uh, communities because it could have ended a whole different route. I did. See that? And you know what? I listened to that and I didn't even, and, and, and that had got by me. But maybe I did subconsciously hear that because I've lived that. Or like I said, I guess when I first heard it, I probably heard it, but then it's been a minute because I, I heard this about a week ago and I was supposed to get to it, but I had other sit-downs that came up. So I'm getting back to that. So I didn't even hear this the second time around. But now I'm sitting down, listen to it, suburban communities. So he's got that same fear I had before I came into this truth. Now I don't have that fear. Because the Lord says he doesn't get a spirit of fear. Yahweh says he doesn't get a spirit of fear. Because everything is in his control. Everything is in within his power. Watch your video that you posted. Yeah, I, I watched it twice. Once to hear you and the second one to like really hear you. It was almost as if everything that whole spring this was building up and then it happened to a friend was... Like really pissed me off. <laughs> For Dante Wright, he was 20, but he has a, a young boy. He's a young kid, almost a, at two years old, approaching two, um, just like me. But also knowing that Dante was a traffic stop like yours. Right, yeah. When I see the videos directly, it, it makes me angry once again. I see my brother. You know, I see people that I love. It's affecting so many of us, even if it hasn't. 
Jeremiah 17 and 4. Discontinue from your heritage and you don't understand what you're going through. So you're angry, you're pissed off, you're mad, but you but all the things you're going through is not is not making you a better person by understanding the extent of what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is capable of doing. But you gotta go, but you're going through the you're going through the grease anyway. You're going through the ringer anyway. But you don't even understand it. You're looking up instead of looking down into the book and getting the understanding. And then get the understanding, then look up and pray. You haven't been in the circumstance. I think that a lot of my friends and I mean family are been so affected heavily from seeing these videos. When you see it over and over again, you're seeing yourself. They regret the stress that Mr. Strong felt. They regret it. But the demons know that they had to put it on them. Ah! See that? The demons that are hooked, that knows that the curses they have to make happen, had no problem doing it. Okay? And there's, then there are spirits that are created for a lot more than that that the Lord is going to be unleashing. Let me put this scripture in here. Uh, I got two scriptures that I need to go to here now. Uh, Sirach. Let's go to 24 and 22 first. 24, 22. 24 and 22. He that obeyeth me shall never be confounded. The world can't confound you when you understand the playbook. The plays can't confound you when you know how they run and how they're supposed to work. And they and they that work by me shall not do amiss. Scriptures tell us, agree with our adversaries swiftly while you're in the presence. Okay? Don't get mad. Don't get pissed off. Keep everything nice and calm and relaxed and easy. Scripture tell you that. Hold on. Why oh, I can't get this to. Okay. Go make me come back out. To go back in. I don't understand that, but okay. Maybe I just have it. 12. 10. Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusted swords his wickedness. Okay? You should never be trying to trust this Edomite. So these people that want to go hand in hand, kumbaya, they're not, they not dealing with the thing. Okay, he's sitting there having a conversation with a female enemy and have no clue. And and she doesn't know consciously, but that demon that's there, if she's a true Edomite, understands it. It pissed her off because the curses are starting to flip now. And the things these things are going to start happening to them. The only thing that she had was white privilege and now that is starting to fall off okay yeah take good heed and beware of him and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away he's still a snake set him not by thee Least when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand. Least he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked there, therewith. 
Don't pay attention to what the Lord is saying. When this Edomite shows you his true colors, don't then want to talk about what the fuck. Too late. 13. Who would pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts? You got a wild ass bull that likes to buck and this, that, and other. Then you get in the cage, you get in the damn corral with him and he gore your ass. Duh. So as when it goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? The Lord telling you how, who this enemy is of yours and not to fuck with him. If you do, that's on you. 15.4, a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. You think when this shit hit the fan that she's going to have sympathetic and be and, and, and be consoling for him? Or is she going to be looking to save her own ass and do whatever it is she's got to do to save her ass? Period. The enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagines how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. These Edomites are not going to give you no motherfucking breaks as this shit comes further and further down the pipe. Don't believe it. So if y'all don't understand this and not in the midst of this, as far as that is concerned, that will make you a two third and you got destruction coming. But for the elect, don't take the knowledge that you have for granted. Live accordingly. Persevere. Adjust your life. And adapt. And ask the Yahweh Bashim Shah to be the center of that. To help you to adapt it in the way that he would have you to do. So with that, I hope that's edifying. I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Akakodash, to the apostles and elders of GMS again out of New York. I want to send double honors because they do rule well. Brethren around the world, again, who's pushing this word, giving the good, the bad, and the ugly of the scriptures, declaring war on the planet uncut. I send salutations. Hopefully, like the hope that's edifying. Aqua, few intruders, listen to say the charity. Keep doing so. Scorner. Reprobate two third Israelites, seventeen other nations. You're in the midst of Jacob's trouble. And for you two third Israelites that don't know who you are, then I guess it wasn't meant for you to get. So with that, for the first group I say Shalom, and for the second group a Baba Ball. <laughs>